Hello everyone and welcome to another repair video on the channel. My name is Antoine and today we have an iPhone 11 that has multiple problems. And when I say multiple, I mean one error causing a lot of problems. And by meaning one error, I mean one panic that can help us repairing the phone. So basically this phone came from another repair shop. They said that the phone had a huge, a huge impact and the device had a broken audio codec IC and a couple of elements that they replaced. The phone worked for a couple of weeks and then just came back to them, but they couldn't find the problem. Uh, the phone restart by itself or cannot turn on or boot to the system when it connected to the charger. Remove the charger and the phone actually turns on, but there is no sound, no vibration, and the device cannot be charged. Every time you put the charger in the phone, the phone just restarts. So uh, you can see I'm uh, turning on the phone with the charger and you can see the phone just hangs up on the Apple logo. And now we are just going to wait for, for the Apple logo to disappear. I already did the test, so I'm just going to show you what is going on with this phone. And now I'm just going to wait for the Apple logo to show up again. I'm just going to remove the charger so we can continue to boot up to our system. Here we go, and let's remove the charger. And now we're going to wait for the phone to boot up. Hangs on in the Apple logo. And uh, of course, uh, also, uh, the restart uh, generate a panic fold that we can read and check where is the problem. Uh, the panic fold can be generated only if the device restarts by itself, in our case the condition match, and search for the final panic so we can read it and see what we have. So, still waiting for the, um, for the phone to boot up. And here we go, you can see, uh, let me just put the, uh, put the password. And let's go to settings, uh, privacy, and check in our analytics. I'm going to search for the latest panic that we just had a couple of seconds ago. As the phone just restarted. In our case, today we are in the 9th of March. Let me just search for the final panic. Here we go. And you can see uh, the panic full uh, says. Enable Hologon and after that Apple CS42L77 audio, which I think is the audio codec. And here we have the user space watchdog, mic 2, mic 2, which is also something to do with the audio codec. So, based on what the first service shop said, we can take the audio codec as a hint for the problem, and also because we don't have any sound and no vibration, obviously, but the charging problem is still a mystery. Uh, so now I'm just going to uh, test a couple of things just to show you. I already test them. There is no sound, no vibration, and the audio just laggy as hell. And you can see over here. And uh, yeah, the first thing I'm going to do is to separate the boards, which is basically what we do almost every video, and see what the other servers have done with the board, because this could be a clue uh, for our repair. Forgot to mention that I already put the phone in another housing uh, just in case and to make sure that we don't have a faulty flex uh, on the original housing. Uh, but after we separate the, uh, both boards uh, or the boards, I'm going to jump under the microscope to see the condition of the board and also check the uh, charging flex connector on the board. Here we have our board separated and you can see the audio codec uh, over here. Uh, replaced as the service set because of the huge impact. Uh, to be honest, the condition of the board looks very good. Uh, both boards are in very good condition and uh, the other service did a good job. But uh, this is not important because we need to fix this one. Uh, so what I would like to do is to clean the soldering, uh, the soldering from both boards on the pads and then uh, just uh, desolder or remove the audio codec and see if we have anything broken there. Uh, I mean, logically, because uh, uh, a uh, that was the place that has been repaired in the first place, <laughs> and b we have the same problem uh, as before. So uh, let me just uh, clean both boards, and after that we'll be going to uh, remove the audio codec and see what is going on underneath it. Removing the audio codec and after that we'll be cleaning the pads and the next step after that we'll be testing the phone in the tester without the audio codec. 
The testing is because the audio codec was replaced and the panic has something to do with the audio as I mentioned before, but we need to know what is the real problem behind the phone restarting when it's plugged to the charger, so as I said, start from where something is already repaired. So testing both boards with the tester and connecting other working flex and putting everything together so we can test if we still have the problem. As always, I'm going to speed forward all the booting process just for not wasting time. And now I'm plugged uh, the charging cable again, just to make sure that if the device is still restarting, yes, the device didn't, or the phone didn't boot up to the system when the uh, charging flex, uh, sorry, the charging cable is connected. Now without the charging cable, again, spinning forward the booting process, and here we have the Apple logo and the phone boots up to the system. That means that we still have the problem connecting again the charging uh the charging cable and the phone restarts again. So now we'll jump under the microscope and uh, we'll go now for the uh, charging flex connector. Let me get my resistance map of the charging connector plus my multimeter on the screen. Here we go and now we'll be checking the resistance uh, on the charging connector and of course speed forwarding as always. Uh, a lot of lines or pins that goes from audio codec will be OL to the charging uh, connector because there is no audio codec uh, soldered on the board. So don't worry by uh, my readings on my multimeter. Uh, most of the OL lines will be low mic lines, so also there is no uh, connection between the problem that we have. Uh, after testing the connector, we'll be going to the Hydra, which is uh, located almost near the charging connector. We will be removing the shield and of course desolder the IC and also check under the Hydra if there is no short or disconnection in the pads. Also after checking all the possibility where could be the problem we will be heading to our schematics uh, so I can explain more about uh, the panic, the problem and of course which line uh, could we have a um, problem with the one with uh, the uh, uh, connecting the uh, charging cable to the phone. Removing the Hydra now, uh, be aware while removing the shield if you're using force or heat to remove it because there is a big chance you can damage the IC or the elements that are near the corners of the shield. Uh, you can see I removed it with force and now I'm using or used my other station to remove the Hydra. After that we'll be cleaning the pads underneath it and then test uh, all the pads. So now let me just grab my uh, multimeter on the screen and the resistance map of the IC. Here we go. And uh, as before, we measured the charging connector. A lot of OL lines were showing because the audio codec is simply uh, was not soldered or just removed or it's just not there. <laughs> uh, mic bus lines and other data lines that uh, goes between the two, uh, the, tri the TriStar and uh, the uh, audio codec chip uh, or other lines will not be present because as I said, the audio codec is not, it's just not soldered. So after we measure all the pads, uh, everything looks okay. Yep, uh, I guess we will jump to our ZXW and schematics for the next chapter of our repair. So before we get to anything, I just want to let you know that I already did the repair. So this is a fixed phone. Uh, already and all the previous diagnostics or trying to resolve the problem was just to show you how did I get to fixing or realizing where the problem is. So uh, first thing if you have ZXW you may see that except the mic bus lines uh, that have connection between the Hydra and the audio codec there is those through uh, three elements uh, C6300 and uh, C6302 and R6300 which uh, with a pin name uh, Hydra to PMU USB break ID, Hydra to PMU USB break ID TIA, and codec break ID. Uh, we'll talk about them in just a bit, but if you go to schematics, uh, those are the schematics for the iPhone 11, uh, you can see uh, or check both uh, G1 and G5 lines, this is the audio codec U4700, uh, you can see that the line G1, uh, let me just zoom, G5 and G1 are codec break ID, and the other one is Hydro to PMG USB break ID. So, uh, on the schematics, it says Halligan 
uh, TIA input, Halogen TIA input output, uh, or enable output, enable and enable output. Now, if you go back to the beginning of the video, you will see that we have the panic enabled Halogen, which we can take a hint from the panic where could be the problem. So basically, a simple explanation is ZXW could just have, you know, save us, and of course me, a lot of time finding where is the problem. But logically, uh, those two lines are only two lines except the mic bus that have connection between the Hydra and the audio codec. Uh, now the problem was in the audio codec, but now we have an audio codec problem causing the phone to restart uh, when we plug any accessory or charger to the charging port, even if we don't have the audio codec soldered on the port. Now let's talk more. Uh, let's talk. Let's talk more about the uh, about those uh, lines over here from the ZX W. Uh, so uh, you can see uh, we have the name Halogen on the schematics, which is referred to uh, Hydra to PMU USB break ID. Uh, let's break the pin name to parts to understand how it works. Uh, this line is some kind of communication interface between the Hydra and the PMU over USB for the part to Hydra to PMU USB uh, and uh, the brick ID I guess is uh, standing for identifying a specific USB device and uh, for the TIA over here is for trans impedance amplifier which also has something to do with communication systems and last but not least we already talked about the Hydra, the TIA, and now to the codec break ID. Now, here where the stuff becomes more interesting, so let's jump again to our schematics. Now, uh, the uh, codec ID is the output from the audio codec, again, the same pin, different name, uh, which is the Hologen TIA input, uh, sorry, enable output. And let's go and see the Hologen TIA input to the audio codec which is again let's search which is a output from the Hydra which again uh, USB ID uh, codec output yeah and just uh, we can just go over here uh, to the USB ID over here in Chinese I already translated which it says this is the ID identification code of the accessory contract chip to the USB tail plug of main power supply. Which from what it sounds, it's the identification signal used to identify the type of USB device that is connected to the iPhone. Now uh, let's jump and focus on the Hydra a little bit over here, in, especially in this part. And on the Hydra, uh, this is an output from the uh, from the Hydra over here, which is uh, which goes to a resistor, two hundred kilo ohms, and also lines to the audio codec, and then the output of the audio codec connected also to a non-polarized uh, capacitor, ten uh, microfarad capacitor it could be for filtering or stabilizing the signals that go through again those capacitors doesn't have a positive and negative lead because there are non polarized capacitors uh, so now the problem is more clear check and connection of those elements uh, that the main thing I already did that and then replace any faulty element that could cause our problem so this is how uh, I understood where the problem is and this is how I uh, fix the problem so now let's jump again to our microscope and under our microscope to finish this repair you can also measure the elements if they were faulty if the capacitor has continuous reading then that is bad replace or check the line and the resistor with your multimeter also, another reason for the problem is the impact that other sensors talk about. And you can see when I remove the capacitor, the legs of the cap is still holding on the board. That means it had a bad connection, even though I measured before and after removing the audio codec. Now, uh, after replacing the elements, uh, which they were the problem, we will be uh, soldering the audio codec. Uh, not changing but soldering the old one back and also <clears throat> uh, soldering back the old Hydra and then uh, test uh, the board or test the device 
in the tester and after that we will be making the final test to see if everything is working. So now for the testing on the tester, uh, I skipped the part where I soldered the, uh, the Hydra. So as I said, I soldered the old one back and now we'll be going to test the phone. Uh, I connected both boards and now on the tester, the Apple logo is showing, waiting for the phone to boot up. And so far the Apple logo does not disappear. Plug the charger and the phone. Just boot it up, but <laughs> for some reason it says that uh, unlock the phone to use or access the USB. And still we don't have any charger. Maybe it is a problem with the charging flex. Let me just go again and try the other side. And looks okay. The phone is charging and does not uh, turn off. Uh, the volume is a little laggy because of the... Uh, uh, because of the down speaker or the main speaker but the phone is charging and does not turn off let's just go and try the other side of the charging uh, charging cable and everything looks okay and now we are also going to skip the part where I'm going to solder the boards together and then of course uh, for the uh, final part and let me just show you on the voice memos that it is working because we soldered the audio codec and everything looks okay uh, as I said the uh, charging flex could be damaged uh, so yeah uh, let's go for the uh, last test here we have our board soldered and connected everything back together and now for the final test Testing the audio and the charging. So now let's just go to voice memos and check and see. Yep, everything looks okay. As I said, the charging flex was just bad. I guess bad microphone. And now let's just go to uh, again settings, our uh, ringtone. Let's just go again and Yep, everything looks okay. And now for the final test, which is the uh, charging. Everything looks okay. We have a Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and now for the charging part. And let's go. The phone is charging and does not turn off. After we plug the uh, charging cable to the phone, other part. Yep, everything looks okay. So I already made this video uh, long. So I just skipped a couple of non-necessary parts, like soldering the, uh, the Hydra, etc. But I hope I explained everything in details. Uh, again, this is the first, uh, this first diagnostics and separation in the beginning of the video and testing was just to show you how I ended up knowing where the problem is. So I hope this video can help you if you have the same or you have the same problem. So, I guess that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If the video was helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future. As always, stay safe and have a good day. I'll catch you guys in another repair video. Peace out.